Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to BLBA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLBA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. And let's get it. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Now introducing a gold draft experience champion. Welcome to the greatest sports show in the world. What up, Nick? Oh, not much, Jason. What's up, buddy? Good week, everybody out there. Yeah. Hey, hey Jason. Uh, took one to the house. Yeah, all the way. This uh, this this past weekend, uh, we're actually sitting. We're doing a post post Omaha draft experience wrap up episode because we gotta we gotta see if we. Uh, nailed our predictions. Yeah, and we if made you, some predictions. If you listen to the particular one before this, you'll know that we did not nail. Uh, no, we said your team was going to be good, didn't we? we yeah, we yeah, we yeah. said we were going to win it. Oh, did you? That's. I mean, I I actually said I was, we were going to finish second. I think I said you. Were you gonna said win. we were going to win. And hey, listen, when you got Frank Wonderwall, yeah, back there, dragging Big Dad. All the way through. All the way to an A championship. Yeah. Gold championship. Excuse me. Uh, old habits die hard. Uh, that's that's uh, it's a weekend. But first, let's talk about the people that sponsor this show, HockeyWolf.com. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. So Hockey Wolf is a pro shop based out of the Pacific Northwest, but they'll ship anything anywhere. So if you need team wear, if you need new gloves, if you need any kind of hockey equipment, they will take care of you and they will treat you right. So go check them out. My man Trav over at Hockey Wolf. It's HockeyWolf.com. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Uh, Speaking of Hockey Wolf, uh, you were so (laughs) proud, so fucking proud. You're going to (laughs) display these new state gloves that you're buying for every state that you're going to play in. Yep. And you get there and you did not bring... Omaha State gloves. Yeah, I was a hundred percent sure when I left the house on Friday, one hundred, that I had the Omaha, the Nebraska gloves in my bag. Turns out, I had the Florida gloves in my bag. Uh, they don't look anything alike. They're very different, but somehow that's how I ended. I uh, I I wound up in Nebraska with my Florida gloves. Shit happens. Shit does happen. Hey, yeah, I had the BLPA Eags. I had the snakeskin Eags, which, by the way, <laughs> defeated. Well, it's cold. Cold <laughs> here. You're fucking the warm blooded animals. They can't work <laughs> in this fucking cold bullshit. But nonetheless, before we before we talk about how our predictions did, let's talk about what's coming up in the next weekend. Something super special is about to go down. Yeah, it's uh, it's literally one of the most exciting things you can think of. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Jason and myself are going to become the best defensive pairing in draft experience history. Ever. 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 And we're pro- we're going to be backstopped, I'm going to have to say, by Frank. Yeah, for I, sure. I think so. Yeah. Frank, I don't know if Frank's on board. He doesn't seem like he's on board. I do know he's not on board. You know for a fact. Yeah, I know for a fact he's not on board. But here's but. the deal. <laughs> I gave him an option. Yeah. I gave. I said, "Here's the deal. Here's the deal, Wonderwall. Y- you can have us on the same team as the best defensive pairing in Dex history." He said, "I'm not. I'm just not going to draft you. I'm the goalie." I said, "Fair enough, but I make the rules, <laughs> and so I'm just going to put you in the draft round after me. And I know you're not going to not try to pick Jason. Right. And once I have you, Jason's basically a shoe in. Yep. And to be to be frank with you, no pun intended, because I'm talking to Frank. Right. I like to give the people what they want, and I For feel sure. Frank does too. And this is what the people want. Yeah. And and we've already said we're going to do it. No, we're not going to be liars. No, you're not going to make me to be a liar. No, nope, I, I will not. I would never do that. And we then we did give Frank options out. For sure. Yeah. We said here's There's the options. Deal. We said, listen, Frank, here's here's the options. We can make this happen, which it'll be glorious. It's going to be a great time. It'll it'll be great. Or if you buy a VIP box, then one J- of us, Jason, will be taken off the board as a defensive person. Yep, I'll go back to forward. If you then do also a Patreon box, I will also uh, come off the defensive board. And you know what? He's he he said no, which means he, he wants, wants us. He, he wants, wants us. the defensive pairing to happen. Yeah, that's just all. That's the only rationale I can think of. But anyway, 
Yeah, you give him an easy out like that, and he says no, thank you. Clearly, he wants in. Clearly, clear. He, he's got a rough, tough exterior. Yeah, he doesn't like people to know kind of what he's thinking. He's a goalie. Like he tries to play the old straight face. No one's going to know about my emotions, and we know we we see right through your facade. Frank. Yeah, we got it. I don't. Is he going to listen? Yeah, he'll probably listen for sure. He's a listener. Yeah, he's a listener. You think so? I mean, he doesn't pay, but he he listens. Yeah. He likes to listen for free. Uh, sh- <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> if you think this episode's worth a dollar. <laughs> He gets he gets us a, a dollar Venmo uh, dash uh, the BLPA or Patre- uh, Patreon or whatever, right? Yeah, we'll take uh, it. Just a dollar. If, if you think it's worth a dollar, we want your dollar. We do. We'll take it. Frank Wonderwall, I'm going to call you Wonderwall a hundred million times until you at least give us a dollar. Yeah, just a buck, man. Start there. <laughs> Shout out Michael Cosentino. Michael Cosentino, the whole Cosentino family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we are going to be in Boston this next weekend. I'm super stoked about it. You know, I've got a nice little week planned. Uh, I'm not going back home. I'm not going back to Canada. I have to go back home. Yeah, but that's not in Canada. No, it's not. So I, I don't have to go back to Canada. I'm going to go down to Oklahoma tomorrow. I'm going to leave bright early in the morning. I, I would I would have left tonight, but I stuck around for the people to do this podcast. And I'm going to go see my folks for a couple of days. I haven't seen them in a while, and that's going to be nice. And then we're going to go to Boston and set all kinds of records. Yeah. Best All defensive pair in draft experience. Like, history. how many goals do you think we're not going to allow? It's. I don't know if it can be calculated. Do you think? I like it. Listen, I'm not going to put. I'm not going to put the boogeyman on Wonderwall. I'm not going to say shut out every game. Right, but it. Uh, but a, at least crazy. one, one, one goal a game. I think is yeah. is basically where we're at. And to be, I played. I played defense this past weekend. Did great. Uh, I blocked a lot. I blocked the most shots in the tournament for sure. I saw you out there blocking shots. You were blocking shots in warm ups. Before One, before the game even exactly, started, I was practicing. Yeah, because they said, "Here's the deal. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a, a defenseman by trade. I, I think it's my calling, but I'm not a de- sure. defenseman by trade. I'm a I'm a very north and south player. You <laughs> give me the puck, choo 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 down the train tracks. Uh, usually the puck gets knocked off my stick, but if I get close to the goalie. I can make some things happen, right? Listen, uh, let me tell you about this story. One time when you were in Nashville, the, oh, the post yeah. post is still ringing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, let me tell you about that. I know that was in Frank's head when I got the puck in front of him, and that's why he did not cheat over because he did not want another podcast story. But fuck you, Frank. Hey, I shot this puck on Frank this weekend, and, and it was a it was a beaut. I think it went it literally went post post uh, crossbar in, and it was it was probably one of the, my finest shots ever. Yeah. It was, so you were there. Yeah, it was beautiful. <clears throat> so, see, this this could all be rectified, and we would not tell these types of stories. J- just send us a buck, Frank. Send one buck. Send us a fucking if you think buck. It's a buck. Jesus. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Boston coming up. We're super. St- I mean, it's going to be insane. St. Patty's Day weekend, and if if Omaha is the primer yeah. for Boston, oh, it's Boston, gonna be a time. It's it's going to be a time for sure. What was your favorite part? Before we get into our predictions, okay. outside of winning, they, they did what we're going to spill the beans. They won the gold championship. Um, <clears throat> what what was your uh, favorite part of the tournament this weekend? Um, you know, the draft party was a, was a real good time. Uh, we had uh, a couple of rooms at the, the bar we were at. Um, and, yeah, I think, I think that was, was definitely one of them. We had a, we had a great locker room, uh, which is – you usually have a good locker room, right? At least a good locker room. We had a great locker room. So I really had a, a good time in the locker room with our group. Uh, I, I've got a new pizza tattoo. I don't know if, if, if you heard. Uh, I heard. I was <laughs> asked so many times, do you want, a, you want some pizza? Yeah. And so, I, here's the I do want pizza. <laughs> that's that's the whole caveat. Like, every time you say I'm like, oh, he's talking about this fucking Listen, tattoo shit again. I got several people with the do you want some pizza uh, line. So that was the kind of the running joke in our locker room was was the pizza joke. And, yeah, it was just a, it was just a good time all around. Yeah. Hey, you know what? My locker room was great. We, we didn't end where we wanted to. Um, but we, my locker room was, was great as well. We had a good time. I mean, we had a bunch of good folks in there. We had some new, new people in there, which is always good. Yeah. And, but I, I think my favorite, my favorite part of the whole draft this, this time was for like, for sure the draft party and usually draft parties, uh, you take them, take them or leave them, right? Like you you have a good party. I'm, I'm used to it, but there was just a, there was just an energy in this one. And I don't know if it's because I started off with some cocaine talk. <laughs> um, I don't know if that maybe that got everything going. It didn't hurt. Yeah, it did. Yeah, for sure it didn't. Yeah. Um, but it, it, there was just a different energy in the crowd that night, and uh, so it, it, it was. It's by far, I would say, top two draft parties 
so far? I think I was at the the other top two. We don't have to say what it was. No, say it. Cincinnati. <laughs> it's got to be <laughs> okay. got to be another. <laughs> for for reasons we can't discuss. Yeah, we, I mean we can't talk about uh, it on the uh, air. Jason but. had his ball sack out <laughs> sometime, and so uh, so we can't talk about it. I guess we we're just not going to. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, it, it, it was it was insane, but this one just had a because. As a guy that's an entertainer, you know, yeah, I'm, for sure. I'm the microphone, I'm an entertainer. Yeah. Um, it's it, when you get the crowd to kind of, when there's like a little give and take, you know, yeah. it, it's really, it's really nice. And when they listen to you, like the part about when people get drunk, they become cats. And so when you, you gotta can, hurt them. Yeah. And so when you can get people to listen to you and move back when you need them to, but the give and take and the, you know, just, it was just an energy, man. It was a vibe. Was I, a I, was, I was here for, I hope Boston is that vibe or better. Well, I mean, me and you are going to both be in Boston, so I feel like we... <clears throat> set oh, the vibe. Yeah, so we, we, we just need to bring the vibe with us. Don't leave it here, and let's let's just bring it to Boston. We'll bring, we're will bring we bringing it. I'll take it to Oklahoma. You yep. take yours back to Nashville. We'll and, meet back in Boston with it together. Hey, and let me ask you this. People out there, not not you, Jason. Okay. How's Jason sound? Like, everyone always gives me shit about it. You can barely hear Jason. Well, listen, it's because Jason's usually recording on a fucking Bluetooth <laughs> connection in his car, <laughs> driving... Uh, now we're not right next to each other. Looking at this handsome motherfucker. Yeah, he's got a microphone right in his hand. Yeah. looks like a penis. That's not. <laughs> um, and so I like I'm digging it, and I I, I just wanted to make sure you go you all know it, we can make Jason sound better. He just has to have a microphone and not be driving a car down the road. That's fair. That's okay? fair. Because I get it all the time. Like like I'm the one that makes it happen, and I'm like it's not me. It's, it's all well, well, it's all Frank. I I don't <laughs> want to blame. I mean, if Frank Patreon on us, I'd probably have a decent microphone. There we go. Yeah, Frank. If you think this show's worth two dollars, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's get let's get to uh, to answering the bell for our way too early pre- draft predictions. Do you remember what you you were? I don't I don't remember like exactly where I was at, but I I can tell you the ones that I missed. Do you want Do you want to start there? Yeah. Well, I'm okay. I I think you were. You you were number two. Yep. You thought Lu Kang would be number one, right? No. Uh, black team, which was oh, Raiden. Oh, Raiden. 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 And I thought that 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 was my top two as well. Yeah. And then you thought uh, Lu Kang and Katana were going to be the middle. Yes. And then it was Goro, Goro and uh, Scorpion, Scorpion at the end. Okay. And I was I think I was pretty close. I think I think I probably had maybe. I, Maybe we should go back and listen, but we're not going to. We're not going to. Uh, I think I, I know. I had those two kind of at the top. I thought Liu Kang would be would be up there. I thought it was going to be uh, Goro and us a, in the bottom as well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so here's what happened. Uh, down at the bottom in the C final, you had Raiden facing off with Liu Kang. Yeah. So our uh, my one and your two was in the the bottom two. Yeah. So. We we nailed that yeah. opposite, crushed it opposite, and uh, uh, Raiden actually came away with that dub. Yep, right? uh, Luke first, went, first win of the tournament for them, but that's the only one that matters really. Yeah. Luke Kang went zero and five. Yep. Shout out Jeff Peck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Peck, baby Jeff Peck. ringer. Uh, hey, Jeff Peck is a ringer. He just had an off tournament. That's all I have to say about that. Sure. Um, so in the B final, we had Scorpion and Katana. So we nailed Katana. Yep, we thought Katana would be right there in the middle. And Scorpion, we had they were one one higher or one level higher. And then we had uh, Goro, who we both thought were go- was going to be low level. Yep. And we had uh, Sub Zero, which was your team that ended up winning. Yeah. Winning that one. So, uh, so what was your biggest surprise? I guess I should ask for this tournament. Uh, I would say Raiden being in the bottom. I thought for sure they were a powerhouse. Like. I if I'm I'm not gonna say if I was a gambling man because I am yeah I for sure am I'm a gambling man if, and if yeah if you would have allowed me to make that bet I'm, I'm taking Raiden I'm, I'm money, money lining Raiden. Raiden all day no it's weird because the, the goalie for Raiden here, here's the goalie for Raiden I've seen him in Oklahoma City yep but he was on a stacked ass team yep so it's hard like they won every five games so he made the saves he needed to make but they were blowing everyone out anyway and so I thought. Maybe that would push him over. Yeah. And, you know, we also thought uh, Megan. Uh, she she has the ability to steal games for sure. For, for sure. Liu Kang. So, yeah. um, for me, it was I missed. I'm going to take responsibility. I missed on a few of the people in the draft on Team Katana. Yes. Yes. Uh, they probably had four guys on their team that could have been a ringer for sure. Uh, but their goalie had a uh, he had a rough weekend. 
a not good Saturday. Yeah, sat- specifically, yeah. Because then he got hurt in our game. Yep. And they were up in every game, I think. And yep. then, you know, they just kind of – and then so then they brought in a fill-in goalie. And I even told these guys, if you had a goalie that wasn't having such a rough weekend, you guys you – Undefeated. Guys would, uh, for sure. If they had my goalie – they, they would have beat everyone 10 Undefeated. for sure. Yep. Because they had these four guys just power line. Oh. They power lined us. They, I mean, they literally were, were passing the puck around teams for minutes at a time where no one was touching it and then just burying tic-tac-toes. Hey, let me, let me shout out their number nine. I believe, uh, listen, don't, I meet a lot of people. Yep. And so sometimes it takes a few for me to get their names. But I believe this guy's name was John Burns. Okay. I believe that was his name. Number nine. I'm playing defense, right? Yep. And I'm I'm not a defenseman. <laughs> yeah. Until I mean, next week. Right, next week you will. Be. Uh I was just practicing different moves. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, really just seeing what works out. Locking there. it in. And this guy off a of face off comes and I'm back doing some backing up backward skating. Nice work. Defenseman. Yeah, defenseman. But I look at this guy right in his eyes and he's got a clear visor. And he's fucking licking his lips. Literally. <laughs> like licking his chops because like, he's coming out on literally me. Literally licking them. And he fucking walks me between. And I knew he was going to do something. Sure. But he was such a fast guy, I didn't know he's what he so was going to do. Was he going to go this way or this way or going? And what he really did was he really went for the, I'm going to embarrass the fuck out of this guy. And went in between my legs, walked around me, bar down. And I, I turned around as he got around me. And I just watched. And. Me and the goalie were just looking at each other because we knew there was yeah. nothing we what, could do. What were we gonna do? It was it was probably the one of the most beautiful goals I've ever been a part of. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was <laughs> I was you know I had the horns on it. But what are you gonna do? Like I'm yeah. not I'm not I'm not gonna you know lower lower a hip or a, or a, or a shoulder. I don't want to kill anybody. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And as fast as that guy was going, you redirect that guy. He's yeah. So uh, it was it, it that was the surprise for me is 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 the guys and and maybe I, I'm taking responsibility, but I went back and looked at the ratings. And they were sixes, and this goes back just to hearken that like sometimes uh, Oklahoma six different than a Canadian six. Not For saying sure. they were Canadian, but there's different levels of six, sure. and you you have to learn that. And so they were. I mean, they were they were so fast. And and the other part about it is that we went from NHL size ice on Saturday to to uh, Olympic size ice on Sunday, and we beat these guys uh, ten ten to seven with their goalie having a bad day, of course. Right. Uh, and so we could handle them. You can contain them a little bit more on that small ice, but when you give them the extra, what, three feet or so yeah. on each side? <laughs> they were flying. When, when they can fly, forget about it. Buddy. Yeah. Forget it. And then, oh, boy, their number four, their ringer. I thought this guy's name was Cole Soley because that's his name on Facebook. And I played not with as, him before. Not his name, though. No, I, I played with him before. <laughs> right? I played with him in the military decks, and the and his buddies were calling him Soley. So I, he walks in. I'm like, hey, Cole Soley, what's going on with it? He goes, yeah. <laughs> but you know that's not my name, right? And I'm like. Uh, no, I don't know. He's yeah, Nick Hathaway. I'm like, well, great name first. <laughs> great. Uh, but second, I think you're in a round. You're uh, the wrong uh, round. You're too low. So I had to go make a little adjustments. But yeah. It, it was, yeah, it, it was, it was a solid weekend for sure. A solid weekend. Uh, congratulations on your, your A. Thank uh, you. Gold. Sorry. Gold championship. Uh, shout out, uh, Frank. Yeah. Uh, great. For really dragging, basically carrying the whole team yeah. to that. His, his back was hurting last week. I'm sure it's really hurting. This, I mean, the, the uh, dude was out a week ago. Said that yeah. oh, you can can you find someone to replace me? Yeah, because his back was and, and back was said, fucked. No, no, I can't, Frank. Show you gotta up, come. show up. You show up, and and you know what, Frank? I don't want much, buddy. All I want is all you got. That's what he brought, and he brought it, and, and brought you know it, it won. So, uh, but anyway, so it's funny. It's funny about the draft predictions. I and I go I go through this every every single time. That's why I thought we should put it on. We should put it on recording. We'll do it in Boston too. All right. And we'll 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 do it because I'm never right. And I yeah. make the, I make the draft rounds. Yeah. I know the people. You would think that I would be uh, better at it. Never am. I've got it right one time, but usually I'm wrong as well. Yeah. What what how, you got it right one time? What do you mean? In Denver, I at the draft party, yeah. the teams were drafted. I not only told who was going to win, A and B. I told what their records were going to be, oh. and I nailed it. All yeah, four I teams. That. I also did the scores. I think on that one. That's the one. <laughs> you did, yeah, you, you did <laughs> I got the that exact score. Yeah, exact score. Yeah. yeah, I think people were shaving shaving points out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Hey, well, what what else what else can we talk about? I mean, I know this has only been about twenty minutes, and we we got to give people a show. So, I mean, uh, I can I can give a little breakdown of of our championship run because there were some exciting moments in this championship run for sure. They, yeah, hit, hit, tell them the most exciting one because it it was almost you shouldn't have been in the champion in the, Correct, in the yeah. gold championship. Yeah, so our third game we were playing Liu Kang, who me and you I think both pegged as kind of middle, but we thought because Megan's in goal she could steal some, so it's kind of a wild and they card. And Jeff Peck. And they had Jeff Peck. 
Uh, we were down 5-3 with a minute 21 to go. Minute 21. Uh, we score. I, I should say we scored the fourth goal at a minute 21, I believe. No, 45 seconds. We scored the fourth goal at 45 seconds. Uh, so we were back in it. So then they drop the puck. We get possession. Frank goes to the net. We bring in the, the extra attacker. We tie it up with 21.6 seconds to go. Hell yeah. At that point, you're, you're pretty much just happy. Like, hey, we got a tie, right? Yeah. So Tim, who was uh, one of our better guys, I can't think of his last name. Last name's Pearson. And Tim I'll Pearson. Tell you, I'll tell you why that's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal uh, for you. Yeah, because I won my chug round. I said, take this guy. Yeah. Take the, This is the guy we want. Yeah. Big Tim. You should have took see, that guy. I saw him at the mill decks. I'm like, the guy can skate. Like, he's, hu- he's huge. He's a one. he's a fucking tree trunk. He, what do you think? He's like 6'4", 6'5", yeah. at yeah, he's least. big dude. And probably 250, every yeah. bit, maybe 270. I, and I, listen, I'm not, I'm not dogging on Tim. I'm not no. saying. Right. I'm not saying. He's a big boy that can move. He's fucking big. And he can fucking straight out fucking fly. And he can shoot. And I said, this is the guy. And he plays defense. Yeah. All right. And that, he's basically who I model my game after yeah. on the defensive side. Uh, <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying, I hope you need to model that game. So next week we'll have two Tims. Two Tims, got uh, it. Uh, backstop by Franco, of yeah. course. Oh and uh, I, I said drafted. I I won my chug yep. because I knew Tim was there, and I'm like, gotta win. I, I'm and, and I do win. Yeah. I'm a chugger. Yeah, you are I a do, chugger. I chug. And I said, take this guy. And my team said, ah. No, no, no. Everyone says take Haji, and Haji's a good player. Yeah, no, no disrespect to Haji's he, name. He led the team in or the tournament in scoring. Yeah, um, Haji's a great player. He has he has a lot of assists, but he's a great player. But I said no, 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 no. Listen to the guy that makes the draft rounds that knows these players. Yeah, I know this guy, and this guy is the ticket to a, to a win. Yeah, and they said defense doesn't win championships, and I said we're fucked. Yeah, and uh, they took Tim. Yeah, Tim. so Tim tied it. Tim tied it at, at five. Yeah. Uh, and then as we were skating back to uh, the face-off dot, Tim looked at all of us and he said, hey, 21.6 seconds left. Let's go. And we got the puck. We went down. We were cycling around a little bit. Puck popped around to me uh, on the left side of the net. I threw it across to, to Alex, who we talked to uh, earlier, and she fucking buried it at the buzzer. Oh, boy. At the buzzer for the win. Oh, boy. Yeah. So three what goals, three and goals in forty five seconds. That was a team that was zero and five. Yep. Gave up three goals in forty five seconds to lose in the most heartbreaking fashion ever. You know, that's what's great about I think the drafts is you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, you know drafts are like uh, box of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's my new saying. Listen, uh, when the championship <laughs> came around, we were up two. I said, "Hey boys, I've seen three goals scored in forty five seconds, so let's keep going." Yeah, I and you guys were down for a lot of that game too. Yeah, we were. And, and you guys, you guys came and said, you know what? Here we go. Like to do it, and then you, you just turn it on, and all because all, all, all back, backbone, backstop, the the heart of that team, Frank Wonderwall. You know. Yeah. If you he think was this, there. Frank, if you think this uh, podcast for two dollars, just uh, send it on over. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, any anything else we can, any, any anything else beer league related? Any burning beer league questions that you have? I do have my "Why are you so pissy?" from Ooh, a few weeks ago that yes, we never had to talk about. We did because hey, we haven't recorded. Well, now we've recorded since you've heard the the pre, uh, way too early rankings, uh, decks episode. Yep. Uh, but yeah, why? Are, hold on, let me set this up. Why are you so pissy? Let me tell you why I'm so pissy, Nick. Tell me. All right, I have a team that I play with uh, usually on Sunday nights. The last two weeks in a row, we have had 11 skaters check in that they're going to be at the game. Okay, 11 skaters. 11 skaters. It's a good so number. That's 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 two lines and plus. So what, do you, what would you do? Would you do a third, three centers three is centers. what I would do because because the center should be skating, right? So, you know, get them some quick shifts. Yep. Quick shift them. Instead, our captain the last two weeks with 11 skaters checked in has gotten two subs so that we could have 13. I, I don't. I don't want to say I hate this, but it's not my favorite because subs don't pay. Yep. And we don't need them if we have 11. Yep. So why are we bringing subs to the game to take away the ice time from those that are paying? That's a very valid question. So this happens, and it's a, I want to say it was like a 940 game, and I almost, I almost bailed. I almost said, fuck it. I'm just going to stay home. No reason to go for 13 skaters. And I live about 45 minutes from the rink. It's a drive, right? I, I suck it up. I say I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No big deal. I'm just going to, you know, a little bit of ice time. It's fine. I get there. We start getting dressed. 
two of our players don't show up. And I'm guessing it's because they also see that it's a 940 game with 13 skaters. They don't want to show up. So now we're down to 11. Back to that magic number. I'm like, this is great. Instead of running 11, our captain, who plays defense, says, we're going to run 3D, six wings, and two centers. So now you have two de- you have three defensemen playing two spots and you have six wings playing two spots. It gets worse. So now it doesn't sound like it can get much worse. It, it does. So now we have you're changing with three people, right, on your wing. I'm a left winger, so I'm training with two other people. One of the guys, it, it's a 20 minute run clock uh league. So every period is 20 minutes, but the clock runs constantly. So if you're slow to the faceoffs, you're you're wasting your own time. <clears throat> Dude takes two seven-minute shifts Oh boy! in the first period. I had a total of three minutes of ice time. Three oh minutes. Oh, boy. So, he, so he's taking 14 minutes. You got the three. That means the other guy only got three as well. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. yeah. Okay. So then the second period starts, and homeboy is still out there from his four-minute shift that he had in the previous period. Takes another five minutes. So now we're 25 minutes into the game, and I've had three Three minutes of ice time. This is the first time I've ever done it, but I just calmly got up from the bench and I said, good luck, boys. Headed to the locker room, took my shit off and went home. I was like, let me get this. Let me get this 45 minute drive out of the way and let <laughs> and let me get to bed somewhat early. Yeah, I literally hadn't broke a sweat. The clothes I was wearing, I didn't wash. I brought straight here and you couldn't have even told tell that they were worn. That that's how little that's, ice time I had. Wow. OK. That That's why I'm shitty. so pissy. That is that is shitty. All around. What you know? What like I haven't been playing much hockey uh, because there's been a, a pretty big gap in tournaments. Like we you know, we had L A. Then we didn't have another one again until Philly, and then I didn't get to play Philly at the uh, L A. was December 10th, and then I didn't get to play Philly because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay here in case everyone gets uh, Omicron, so there's someone that can do sure, ice yeah. and right. So I didn't play from December 10th until January 25th or something, and then since then I didn't play until. Uh, Lake Louise, which was February 4th. So I've been taking month gaps. And a lot of the reason is, is because I don't really have a league team in Calgary. Right. Since I don't work for a league anymore, I, I, have, I have friends that own another league and they're like, they, I have an open invite. But every time I see that there's at least 10 players, I don't go. Sure. Because I, because I feel, because I'm not paying. Right. Like they're, they're letting me play because they like me and we're buddies and all that stuff. And they, they know that I, I can't commit to a full team because I'm gone so much. Yeah. But why would, why would one, uh, you as a player, me as a player or a, another sub want to come and play? Well, I guess, why would they think it's okay right. to come and play for free whenever there's already 10 skaters? Because 10 skaters is the perfect for a beer league game. 100% right? perfect. And again, why would the. Why would the captain? Yep. Why would he say, you know what? We got more than ten, but we we probably need some subs. That's that's just shitty. It's it's that's stupid. A, that's a bad captain. Actually. Yeah, I agree. This is a captain. You know what? We were gonna cut players, but you know what? We also we were gonna have a service to do that. Yeah. So if you if you want us to cut your players, we'll fucking do it. If you need us to call out your captain, yeah, I call. Let us know. Tweet us, and we will review the facts. Yep. We will. Uh, Present our case to the captain. Yep, a- and we'll record it. I like it. So I probably should call your captain. Yeah, we should start there. Do you do you think he would be okay with us calling him? Probably I mean, not. We don't care. Probably not. He's kind of strange. We, we don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. The, listen, that was the last game I'll ever play with that. Okay, team. so so you, you I'm so done. we can burn a bridge for sure. I'm okay. done. Okay, so, <laughs> so 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 let's what's this guy's name? Jeremy let's, Light. Well, we didn't have to throw out his Sorry, last name. Jeremy. I'm not editing that out. But, okay. Okay. But we Jeremy we, Dark. We we, <laughs> we we didn't have to put him on blast yet. Okay. But let, let let's let's uh let's role play. This, okay. 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 So who, do you want to be? Uh, I'll be Jeremy. It'll be Jeremy. Okay. okay. <laughs> bring bring bring. Hello. Uh, Jeremy, is this Jeremy speaking? Yeah, this is Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. This is Nick from the Beer League Players Association. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. Do you know what the Beer League Players Association is? I don't, because I'm terrible. <laughs> well, you're about to. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> we Beer League Court is in session right here. Uh, okay, Jeremy, I I've I've been uh been brought abreast to a situation 
involving a team that you captain. What what's the team name that you captain? Oh, you must be talking about the Whis- Whiskey Deeks. The Whiskey Deeks. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Real original. Great. Thank you. Another sexual innuendo <laughs> team name. Just what we need to make us look great <laughs> as beer leaders. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I've been made abreast of a situation involving the Whiskey Deeks. <laughs> And I would like some clarification. Are you okay with answering maybe a few questions for me? Okay. All right. Here's the deal, Jeremy, of the Whiskey Deeks. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that you were a captain of a team, and recently there was a game in which you already had 11 players, and you thought it would be a good idea to bring out two subs that don't pay. Do you? Do you? Does this sound familiar at all? Yeah, it does. You know, uh, beer league's real serious business, and I think we, you know, we needed the three lines to to make sure everybody was fresh. Okay, I can I can understand that to make sure everyone's fresh, but then as the story goes, yep. from what I allegedly allegedly okay, I don't know if this is true. I, I'm trying to confirm this. Then two people bailed, and you actually had the eleven players, which is fine. Is this true? That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. But then you decided. That there should be three D and two sets of wingers. Is this also correct? Yes, that is. Though we ran three D that game. Yeah. Jeremy, what position do you play? I play defense. Why would you think that it was cool to do three D? Like, what, what, what went into your reasoning there? Well, I just thought maybe you know, like D's don't have to skate that hard like the wingers do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if you know, we've got this guy Jason Limbacher. He's he's a real hard skater. So I just I wanted to make sure he was fresh. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's funny because uh, Jason Limbucker is actually the one that wanted us to chat with this situation. Oh. And I want to let you know, you're dead fucking wrong. <laughs> All right, Jeremy? Okay. Of the Whiskey Deeks. <laughs> y- you don't do that. If you got 10, uh, 10 players that are paid, that's who gets to play. You don't call out subs for 10, 10 more than 10. You got it? Y- yes, sir. Now yes, sir. you know what the Beer League Players Association is, motherfucker. <laughs> Get went, fucked. I think that went well. <laughs> I mean, something like that. Yeah, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be those exact words. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a, a, a dramatization. For, right? for sure, yeah. All right. Uh, the, the actual thing might differ uh, <laughs> slightly, but uh, off the cuff, you get the idea. Yeah, no, I think we're it was gonna effective. tell them they're fucking wrong. Is what we're gonna do? For sure. Okay. For sure. Jeremy, you're goddamn wrong, <laughs> bud. It, it, that's just there's no two ways about it. Yeah, it's not it's not up for debate. So when my team, when I was running a team, we'd have 18 people on the roster because our leagues were expensive, right? 13 grand, something, something bullshit like that. And so one, we'd need it to have make league fees a little bit more affordable. Sure, yeah. But we also knew we couldn't get get 10 skaters even yeah. with 18. Right. And uh, people but we got always, shit to do. Yeah, but we always said, okay, we'll bring out a sub, but we're only going to get to 10. Yeah. You know, and and people say, okay, oh, I bring my buddy. No, nah, because mm-hmm. he'll make eleven. You can't. Right. Hey, well, I won't come. Well, we'll skate with nine. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, yeah. So, hey, if you have any any other uh, beer league problems that your captain captain's being shitty, or if your fantasy commissioner's fucking shitting on you, yeah, we'll call him out too because yeah. we're, we're fantasy guys too. Yeah, we'll do it all. I thought I I think that's perfect play right there. Yeah, we're for we're for the players, but um, we'll also cut. For yeah, the GMs, yeah, we're, we're right? for the GMs as well. Yeah, we're, we're, for we're all beer leaders. Yeah, you know? listen, we're here for what's right and just. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, Th- that that was a great segment. Yeah. Do we have any other segments? You know what I really want to bring back? Let's, what, what should we I want to I want to bring back our fight liney cuts. Okay. That would be so. We should think about that for for the next episode because those were pretty fun. So Let's, we'll do we'll do one. We'll do a draft one right now. Yeah, with Omaha. Let's do some okay, let's okay. do some players okay. from Omaha. Okay, okay. Fight liney cut. All right. Big Dad. Yep. Jeff Peck. Okay. Who should be the last one? Big Dad. Who who's another character? Who's another character in the in the BLPA? Big what about, Dad? What about Ryan? But uh, a lot of people don't know Ryan. Okay. That's the thing. Like, ooh, I, ooh. I love Ryan, though. I, oh, shout, I do. Shout I out, do. shout out, Ryan. Shout out, Ryan, and shout out, Melanie. Yeah, I mean, okay. Uh, well, fuck Melanie. Yeah, but, you know, I'm whatever. trying to be nice to yeah. Ryan. You know, yeah. girlfriend, <laughs> so, athletic trainer, bullshit. <laughs> I've had her on the podcast before. Did you? Yeah, we talked about uh, what it, what in an educational form causes hangovers. Okay. 
It was, a, it was a pretty good one. Listen, she told me today that it was very impressive the amount of food that I eat and still am, am active. So well, you, I took that as a compliment. You you literally did walk in and have a big-ass Danish and say, hey, you ever seen anyone eat a whole Danish? <laughs> and we're like, no. L- listen, when Nick says Danish, he doesn't mean the one that you pick up at the convenience store that's in a single-serve package. No. He's talking about the one you go to the grocery store and it's in the, the bakery it, aisle. It's <laughs> like whenever someone says potluck, uh, bring a dessert for everyone. <laughs> This is the Danish that you buy. And he walks in there this morning at breakfast. We're, and we're, well, we're waiting for the game to start, but we're sitting outside in the lobby. And he goes, you ever seen anyone in a little Danish in a, in a foil or something? And we're like, no. And he plops this thing on the thing. He says, well, you're about to. <laughs> just just pulled a fork at, out and went at yeah, that thing. Yeah, no plates. Yeah, no. So, so he, for See, the pot, like, hey, it's one serving. What do I need a plate for? Okay. <laughs> Right. On the back, it says there's 16 <laughs> servings. For this. Like, nah, that's that's a typo. A typo. This is one. The six six isn't supposed to be there. It's just one. <laughs> Can you imagine going to a potluck and just bringing a dessert for yourself? <laughs> just <laughs> pull a fork out and start going to you town. Bring, you bring it in, and they're like, "Hey, yeah, thanks for bringing the Danish." You're like, I didn't bring this Danish it's for not, nobody but myself. It's not for you. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Okay, fight liney cut. Fight liney cut. You know what? Let's 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 add old Frank in there. Okay. Fight line cut. Big Dad, Peck, Frank. Listen, I'm sure as hell not fighting Frank. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, that motherfucker. Listen, when you talk about someone who loves to fucking fight. He just loves it. He, like, it's a sport. He fucking loves it. It's a sport. So you know what I could see Frank doing? Have you seen that, like, thing? Oh, well, you, you're not on Facebook. But there's those videos of those fucking slap contests. Yeah. Where they just fucking stand there yeah. and fucking sl- Like, I think Frank would be good at that. I. I don't think he'd be bad at it. We should find someone that would do that with Frank, and just so we can maybe see. Big Dad. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, yeah. Basically, what would happen is if if we fought Frank, Rach would be in the background. Honey, he's, he's had enough. He's had he's enough. He's had enough. <laughs> but every one punch, and I've had enough. To yeah, be we're done. I ain't fighting Frank. We're either. done. All right. So uh, I, I'm not lining with with Frank either, though. Uh, so I'm cutting Frank. Oh. I'm sorry, Frank. That's his best friend. You just cut your best friend. Listen, listen. Oh boy. Listen, he's self-aware. He, oh, he knows. Oh boy. Whoo. I uh, I'm also not fighting Jeff Peck, so I'm gonna I'm gonna liney Jeff Peck. We had a points we had a points tournament oh, yeah, in uh tournament. recently in uh okay. Eagle River, so that's a good time. Uh, so I, I gotta fight Big Dad. And listen, listen, I I had a fun time with Big Dad on my uh my team this week, and we we I mean he got carried. To gold, well, but I was glad he was there to get carried. carried dragged. Yeah, just <laughs> like literally, like hits to a fucking wagon, and just dead weight dragged across the fucking finish yeah. line. And and then and then he has the audacity to tell me that when we pulled up the stat sheet, I had eight assists on the weekend, and he tells me it's bullshit. And I said, "Listen, bud, the nerve. Stats don't lie. The stats don't lie. Stats don't lie. <laughs> Never wrong in beer league. <laughs> That's but, right. Stats hey, don't lie. I run a fucking tight ship over there. <laughs> yeah, bud. yeah. I, and I, I'll change it." I'll review the film. I, I, to be honest with you, I think Big Dad probably had less points than what the stats show, too. Yeah, exactly. So we were tied uh, in points, but I, I think I actually edged him. Well, you know what? You, you get a handicap anyway because you're a lower round. Sure. So you did. You, uh, what tie goes to the lower round guy for sure. Yeah, so I won. You did. Congratulations. Okay, so, so, so you lined Peck. Peck, fought Big Dad, cut Frank. Yep. God, man, that's tough on Frank, bud. You just cut him right off the team after he carried your ass listen, to an A champ. <laughs> listen, honestly, I don't think Frank wants to play anyway, so he's he yeah, probably I, he I, probably appreciates I, it. I, to be honest with you, I, I'm pretty sure like Frank would, wouldn't play at all if I didn't call him back, like, bud, I really need a goalie for this tournament. 100%. You know I, I think it's me and you both. I mean, we're both we're both like, hey, look, you're going. And I, he's I, like, I'm not. We're, you are. Like, Can you imagine how fat Frank would be right now <laughs> if we did not? Like, I, I saw him put away. You know how much pizza I saw him put away today? A whole one. <laughs> and then a Danish. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, I, Frank would be huge. So we're basically, I mean, we're saving his life. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Frank, we really need a goalie in Cleveland. So, yeah. And, if yeah. you know, if, if you think this podcast is, is helping you, you know, stay thin, send us a buck or two. <laughs> hey, if you think this podcast is about you, you're so uh, you probably Okay. Uh, here, here's what I would yeah. do. What were you going to do? I'm definitely not fighting Frank. <laughs> All right? But... You know, you know what? I would fight him if if he didn't play hockey for a few years and he was huge. He got fat, yeah. And we let him get fat first. M- maybe I'd be able to move around him a little bit, but <laughs> yeah. he, then he then he just have fat boy strength. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't think it's gonna uh, help yeah, him being I don't fat. Think ever. Yeah. And you're, you know what? Yeah, um, I would actually, I I would I would liney, I would liney, Frank. Okay. Because, because every team needs a goalie. It's true. You know what? And you know what? Like if the if there if there's three forwards and that's a line, 
well, two D and a goalie is a line. Okay. And so I need I you know. Me and you, me and you need a Frank to exactly. to finish we, off the best. We need a Frank. Yeah. Um, and, and the reason I wouldn't line he, like Big Dad's really good. like he passes a lot. So he's he's really good, and it would be nice to rack up points. But here's the deal: I've heard how he rags other people that don't finish. Yeah, and I don't want to be putting that because I'm not going to. Right, like 100, percent I'm going to miss 99 <laughs> percent of the passes that he would throw. I, I missed like four open nets this this weekend. Yeah, like just ba- and you know what he can hear? Shrug. Eh, sorry, shrug your shoulders. But he would he would then just fucking. So I I couldn't even do that. Um. Hey, you know, I don't really know. You know, maybe maybe I would fight Peck because he's always on his phone, so he wouldn't see it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even know it's it coming. coming. Yeah, like, you sucker punch him. If I can get him that one sucker punch, I might be able to knock his ass out in one punch. Maybe first, first punch is a big one for it, sure. And when it's a surprise and you yeah. don't see it coming, yeah, because because what's going to happen is he's not going to see it coming, so he's going to see stars yeah. automatically. Yeah, and now you got the jump on him. So if I if I can get one punch and it knock his ass out, that yeah. would be that would be the best thing. Best scenario. Two, boom. Punch me, see stars, knee him or kick him in the nuts. Done. Done. Game's done. over. Um, so I guess I'm, even though I know Big Dad's Big Dad's uh, a decent player. I mean, he had to get dragged to a win this weekend. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut him. I, cause, you know, because he's a ginger too. Yeah. So if you're gonna fight him. You know he's not playing fair, but yeah, well, he's got nothing to lose. No soul. Yeah, he's got nothing to lose. So basically, you know, I, I'm scared of that. So <laughs> basically, I'm not fighting Frank because he'd kick my ass. I'm not fighting uh, Kyle because he'd probably cheat me somehow. But I'm going to cheat Jeff Peck by getting a sucker punched <laughs> on him. Because you know what? If you're not cheating, you're not you're trying. trying. You know? Yeah, so for sure. That, that 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 was a good one. We yeah. should think of some more cut. I mean, I like doing the the draft experience. The problem is, is like people don't like they don't. They don't know everybody. Sure, yeah, yeah. Everyone listening that might not know who Big Dad Peck and Frank are. And if you, but if you f- listen long enough, you should. Yeah, and if you want to fight Frank, Frank loves fighting. Yeah, listen, bud. if you're looking for a fight, Frank is always si- ready to sign up. And I, what, I wonder what his tr- what his trigger would be. Like, what would make him want to fight fight you on the? I mean, I, I'm sure Frank. Like, well, maybe, maybe. I I don't think Frank would just walk down the street and start fighting people. But I've heard like stories of a subway. Fight. Uh, I mean, I've heard I've heard some wild shit, so maybe I'm way off base here. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you look at Frank wrong. That that's a good start. Just Especially just looking at him wrong. Drinking. Yeah, we're drinking. drinking for sure. Yeah. Uh, in hockey, it's a lot of after whistle stuff. Shoot the puck after the whistle. Uh, you know, just doing the douchebaggery type things. Yeah. He he doesn't stand for that. <laughs> but he but as a goalie, I'm sure he does his fair share of douchebaggery. Oh, yeah, but he's our douchebag. So well, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, but if you want to fight Frank, he's he's down. You know, and if you want to fight Big Dad, I'm, I'm speaking for Frank. Yeah, he's We're volunteering. Down. Yeah, he's he's hey, down. Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> Can you beat the uh, ultimate Franco? <laughs> Let's go, undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, <laughs> Frank Wonderwall. And guess what? You pay five dollars, get a chance to knock out Frank. Yeah. There but we go. but listen, he's gonna try to knock you out too. Well, of course he would. Yeah, that's the whole game. Yeah, right. You pay five dollars, you try to knock him out, and then we split the pot with. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fair. Yeah, I love it. You know, and then if he gets knocked Frank out, Frank would probably give us the money back. He just loves yeah, fighting yeah, that much. Like, exactly. Maybe that could be the way he patreons us without patreoning us. Frank. Hey, I got I got this. Off. <laughs> we we made him some offers tonight. I had yeah. to deal with like mirrors and also it's a weird thing. <laughs> but anyway, I, what we could do is we could set it up and and th- we could get this on pay per view probably. Yeah. You know, uh, Frank, Frank, Frank with all takers. Yeah. Anyone that wants, anyone. That wants you walk up, you pay your five bucks, you get, you get on the ice with Frank, and you guys go. I wonder, like, I don't. How old is Frank? Forty-eight. I'm when, fairly confident. When, when, okay, two quick. When do you uh, lose the desire to fight? And when, when do your skills degrade so much that maybe you still have the desire, but you, you just can't fight anymore? And is Frank close? I don't know. So you're talking to someone who's never been in a fist fight. I've never once been in a fist you, fight. Have you, so you've never been punched. No. Can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, can I give you some some insight into that? Yeah. Let me. Let me. It know about fucking it. hurts. Yeah. That, it, that's what it looks like. And you, even punching. Like I punched my fair share of people. That hurts too. Yeah. But getting punched in the face. Not great. No. Yeah. I don't know. Like if 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 I was in a tie, like like let's say Jake Paul, like his his fights are really. I would for that much money, I would go take a couple punches. I'd do it for sure. Yeah. But to be like, I'm not trying to win it. 
I'm no. trying. I'm trying to knock cash me out in. as fast as you can. Exactly. Like here you go, bud. Let's just make it make it a here's show. My chin. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, have at it. You know, I try to protect myself because it not not have here's my chin. Have at it because it fucking hurts. <laughs> like so, I try, I try to make some moves, but I'm 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 not gonna take much punishment. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. I I actually think as Frank gets older, as you get older, you care less about your looks, right? I think that only fuels the fact that he's ready to fight. Like he doesn't care what happens, and that's what makes him so dangerous. <laughs> when you don't care what your face looks like anymore, I mean, that's true. Yeah. You got nothing to lose. And I'm not saying Frank's not a bad as a bad looking guy. I'm just saying handsome. in in general, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he's a, he's a handsome dude, but yeah. he doesn't care about. He doesn't being care. Handsome. Yeah, yeah. I just I just wonder, like you know, because I I you know. I like the adrenaline rust of being in a scuff, a little scuffle. Okay. I didn't like getting punched in the face, so I didn't do many fights just because I wanted to. But like I, I wrestled, and just that, like having that adrenaline rush of, of you know, basically, uh, you know, hand to hand combat. Yeah. On the wrestling mat, you know that that's addicting for sure. Like you know, it's just like being in front of a a crowd at a at a draft experience. I know it's not like. 20,000 people but it's still a big crowd like sure, looking, yeah. there's an adrenaline rush yeah for sure i can't imagine if i could get on stage and there's 18,000 people whoo boy i would be something but <laughs> yeah, how can we do this we'll pay you to come. <laughs> Eighteen thousand of you motherfuckers come and let me do. I or thought, we'll let you fight frank once if you can get us the exactly. gig exactly yeah and i always thought well when i started the blpa fest where we were doing all the sports i i threw in the live music in hopes that we would make it so big like a like a music festival yeah that i would be able to get on stage and and whatever talk, talk introduce yeah. people yeah. play the fucking cowbell whatever do something oh but if I was playing a fucking cowbell I'd be, <laughs> I would you know how Will Ferrell was doing all the fucking fucking uh, pelvic thrust yeah that would be I, I would throw out my back I would have to have back <laughs> surgery because I pelvic thrust so hard in front of these eighteen thousand people but yeah. you know what it, it would be a show yeah be a good time so Frank God man I, I wonder if how bad it hurts to get punched by Frank. Listen, I've seen lots of people get punched I by know, Frank. I, it we doesn't. Ask him. That's a good idea. Crazy I, I know. I know. Sir, <laughs> that guy beat the hell out of me. That's funny because I interviewed him. Or I played that clip. I, I got in touch before I knew you guys, which right. is what's funny. And then I remember whenever I met you guys and you were in Nashville, and I'm like, oh, you know, you know, Crazy Charlie, you know this guy. Like I, he got punched, beat up by some guy, and Frank goes. Yeah, that, was, that was me. That was me. I was like, hell yeah, bud. Do you know how often that happens to Frank where we'll walk into a locker room and they're like, hey, have you seen this video of this goalie beating the shit out of a guy in a handshake line? And Frank's like, yeah, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am that goalie. I know that feeling. Because yeah. I, I, you know what I always hear? Like, have you seen this video of this guy pulling a cheeseburger out of his pocket? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I made it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was a good cheeseburger. Yeah. What are you going to do? So, all right. I think I think that's probably good enough. I mean, this boy, we're late, and i got to edit this before I head out to Oklahoma tomorrow. But I just want to say congratulations Thank once you, again. Appreciate it. Uh, I, hope, I hope we pull it off again. Yeah. I, I, and I don't want Frank to drag us across. I mean, he's going to have the best defense. Two Tims. Yeah, for sure. He, he's going to be two Tims, Tims deep yeah, on the defense with me, and, with me and you, and I want to drag him. To yeah, let's do that. Maybe he has not his best weekend. That's okay. and, and we're able to we'll step up it up for him because that's how much we love Frank. Yeah, I'm in. So, all right. Well, hey, until next time, guys. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed the the draft banner. We we need to make it more of a priority to talk to people at the drafts and do that on. on and we we are going to. And I just hope that you you liked it. I wish Scorpion would have won a championship. We did. We were three and zero going into Sunday. One of the greatest dynast- Saturday dynasties in history. Top, top 10, yeah. for sure. But not top one. That top one was yeah. that biggest one. Yeah. But other than that, guys, uh, we thank you. Got anything else to talk about? I don't think so. No? Me neither. All I got to say is you can follow us at the BLPA on every social media channel. Yep. Even Pinterest and OnlyFans. <laughs> but I know you'll go to OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com slash the BLPA, and then you'll message me and you'll say, but there's not even any content. And I go, why? Jason and I don't work for free, but you pay us first, then we'll make the content. But other than that, guys, be good or be good at it.